Welcome to today's tutorial. In this video, we will be diving into the world of freeform reverse in Revit. Whether you are designing a complex structural element or looking for more flexibility in your rebar placements, Freeform Rebar offers you tools you need. Stay tuned as we explore how to use Revit advanced features to create custom rebar shapes and enhance your construction designs. Let's get started. So first of all, we will create a component in Revit. To do so, we will go to Structure tab and click on Components, then click on Model in Place. Then we will select Walls and click OK. Let's write a retaining wall. and then click OK. This will open up a create panel and we have to create a sweep or blend. So click on sweep or blend. Now we have to create a path. So we will click on sketch path and let's use a center and arc. Let's create an arc of uh, let's say 16 feet radius. and then create a semicircle of 90 degree. Now click on finish edit mode. Now we have to select the profile one and then edit the profile. Let's open up the east view. Click on open view. Now we have to create a wall section for one side. Let's click on rectangle and create a rectangle of let's say 9 feet by 2 feet click on finish edit mode now click on select profile 2 then click on edit profile and go to north view open that view and in this area we will create another rectangle of let's say height of 4 feet and width of 2 feet. Now click on finish edit mode once. This will close the profile section. Click on finish edit mode twice. This will create the structure and click on finish model. Now go to 3D view. As you can see we have a complex structure which have thus different sizes on both sides. Now we have to place the rebars in this section. Now go to structure tab and click on rebar. You can also select the structure and click on rebar and modify walls. Click OK. This will open up modify place freeform rebar. So there are two types of rebars. We will try one by one for each type. We have aligned rebar and surface rebar. Let's try the aligned rebar. Click on aligned rebar. Then click on all the sides or surfaces on this wall. Let's select top surface. Make sure you have selected select multiple so this will allow you multiple selections of surfaces now let's select the other surface you can hit tab button to shuffle the sides click on other side now click on the bottom side and click on the other side so all four sides are selected. Then we have to modify the path. In the next tab, you can click on path and we have to select any path where we can place the rebar. Let's select this path. After that, we have to set up our rebar sets. In the layout section, select maximum spacing or whichever suits you. 
let's select multiple spacing and we have to place the rebars in 8 inch center to center spacing now go to properties panel and we have to create uh, stirrups of different sizes from start to end so in the style section click on stirrup or tie and hook at start will be 135 degree and hook and at end will be 135 degree as well let's select the diameter of the bar which will be used in this case number 3 rebar strips and then click on finish as you can see stirrup rebars are created and all of these rebars are placed in set you can edit the constraints if you require to resize the sides of stirrups Now again select the structure and go to rebar and this time we will try the surface rebar. So click on surface. As you can see with the pointer you can see there is select host surface. So our host surface, our host surface is the surface to which you want to install the rebar. In this case, that surface is the inner side of retaining wall. Click on this surface. Then you have to click on the start surface in the tab. And then you have to select the top surface or the bottom surface. So these are the two surfaces which will decide the boundaries of these rebars. Let's select one surface. Then click on end surface in the modify panel and then select the other surface then same for this we have to select the layout maximum spacing this time let's write 6 inches and we have to select the rebar number 4 this time we do not have to change the style because we want to place the straight rebar but we have to place hooks on both hands and we want to place 180 degree hooks on both hands. Click on apply and then click on finish. As you can see the rebars are placed on this side of surface. Now we have to place the rebars same for other side as well select the structure click on rebar this time again we will go with surface rebar and we will select the host surface you have to hover over the structure and then click on tab then hit the tab button select the surface then click on start surface select the start surface then click on end surface and then we have to select the other surface and then we have to decide the layout tool maximum spacing let's create six inches and we want to place hooks on both sides 180 degree click apply and then click on finish so the other side rebars are also created let's see in the 3d view and let's visualize these rebars so we can see whether they, they are placed correctly or not select all the, of these drawing click on filter check none select the structural rebars click apply ok this will select all the rebars in the properties panel you have to go to view visibility state and click on edit 
so we are in 3d view and we have to select view unobscured and view as solid in 3d view and click ok so this will not affect right now because we have to set the detail level to fine and we have to select the visual type to realistic Now you can see the reverse. Now one thing we have to mention is that these stirrups, if you want to place these stirrups outside these reverse, you have to select and then go to properties panel and you can change the stirrup tile, stirrup or tile attachment. There are two options, interior face or the exterior face. If you change to exterior face, let's see what happened. So this will change the orientation. The horizontal rebars are inside of these stirrups. Thanks for watching. Now you know how to use freeform rebars in Rabbit to create custom rebar shapes and add more flexibility to your design. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tips. See you next time. Bye bye.